Hey everybody, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So I'm putting this out a little bit late because I got busy uh, doing some other things earlier, but we've got Mantis and Korg in the arena. Round one is done, and we're going to take a look at the leaderboards. Uh, as you can see here, I prepped the uh, T1 Alpha, and I'll do it probably after uh, I make this video. Um, I might make another video as well for tomorrow before I do that one. It's real easy to do. And as you can see, I didn't do anything else in the other arenas. Uh, I did not go for Mantis this time, but next round, I will go for her round two as a five star. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. All right, cool. I wasn't sure if I was going to get the 11 to 30%. Not that it makes a big deal, but... I like to get the six star shards, even though it's a little bit of six star shards. Um, let's take a look at the uh, Korg leaderboard first. Ooh, Hanzo's up there. I don't know him, but I see him a lot of times. El Guapo. Uh, let's see if we see anybody else. So I've been doing um, Battlegrounds and. Uh, Korg is still annoying as ever, unless you have a, a proper counter. And uh, I know in one match, uh, they put up their Korg, you know, six star, I don't know what SIG level. But <clears throat> I had my uh, Claire. And uh, we were able to get the win. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Battlegrounds right just yet. Still not seeing your name, Harry. Just seems like a mode that it's okay, you know. But it's more time consuming than I like and takes more of my attention. Unlike, you know, Arena, where I can just basically run on autopilot for the most part. Put it in the back of my brain and I'm watching TV and just going, you know. All right. And there we go. I don't know. Is that go LG? I don't know. But you're the last one to get Korg as a six star in round one. Now, let's see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Jay. So sorry, man. I had a friend named Jay. Or I should say a co-worker named Jay. Really intelligent guy, too. And I uh, hope he's doing well. Uh, he's not. Very few people are still working at my old um, my old job. Uh, he was fired a couple of years ago, I think. And I'm not sure who all is left over there. Uh, nobody that I usually talk to, anyway. And the last one was a young lady that uh, I still stay in touch with, kind of, uh, now. And uh, she left. And she told me that, you know, the folks there are still cool. But they partnered with another company, I believe, out of New York. And apparently... The folks in New York <clears throat> are not willing to um, either acknowledge the expertise of the people here and they want to run stuff and they don't really know enough. So they're making the environment there really horrible. And that's saying something because she was working there before I got there and she was working there after I left. And I was there for seven years. So. Um, I, I forget how long she's been there. Tom Riddle. Somebody likes Harry Potter. So for her to leave, and I remember one time, because things were not always great where we were, and she told me they were going to have to kick her out of there because it was her first job. You know, after she got her training, that was the first job she, she had had. So she was not trying to, you know, go somewhere. So it had to have been really bad, really bad for her to leave. 
All right. There we go. So let's take a look at Mantis. Now, I don't know if Mantis is good, bad, or whatever. Um, you know, she's a new five star, so I will uh, try to pick her up. And um, hmm. I'll probably, you know, wait to hear something people are talking about where she is concerned. I haven't heard a lot, though. So I wonder. Um, I think KT1 said something along the lines of this was his type of champion. So I don't know if that means that she's really good or she just fits his style. Wait, what? Congratulations, man, on rank 39. So uh, I'll, I'll learn more about her. Uh-oh, we got Papa Lemon. Let's see if we see any more lemonades. Lemonade. That cool, refreshing drink. I wonder if any of y'all know where that's from. Might have to get out my old heads. Because that was from, I believe that was uh, back in the 80s. If you want a little hint. What did I see? Yep, Jenser M. Almost went right by. Congratulations, man. Don't always see his name up here. But I have been seeing it more often. Same thing with Brutal. So, hmm. Either they just like the champion, or the champion is sneaky good. Aha! Another lemon. Now we can make that lemonade. All right. Jam! You are the last one to get Mantis. Round one. So now let's see who came so close. And yet we're so far. Oh, the collector. You did not manage to collect Mantis. No one wants to be 101, but someone is always 101. Now, I don't know what the cutoff is yet. My prediction was, um, I think, 250. That seems to be what new champions are going for these days which I find crazy and ridiculous. Um, but that seems to be it. People are putting it up. And, you know, some of the folks with their rosters, they still have to use some units. But, you know, it is what it is. Evil couldn't either. And Messiah, ugh, y'all are too close. So I know an angry elephant. I know you angry. Black cat. Oh, man. Too many names I recognize up there. Too close. There's another lemon. Every time I see Evil Knievel, I think about um, something that happened back when I was five. My mom decided to go away on this um, uh, vacation, about 10 days. And we went away to this place that... Let's just say they were um, similar to the Amish. They were our denomination, but they were a group of people from our denomination that decided to separate themselves from everybody else and live in their own little community like the Amish do. Uh, Madman, I hope you wanted that five star. And let me tell you, those 10 days was something else. But the reason that I remember the Evil Knievel is because, um, ooh, time to shine. Congratulations. Uh, one of the things that they were trying to do there, they were trying to live a certain way. And one of the things that they um, wanted to raise their kids doing, they only played with things that were constructive. In other words, you know, if they had a little uh, bike, they were to use that bike to get, you know, get around and learn how to navigate and things like that. There was always some uh, constructive reason, right? So I come out, city boy, corrupting my ways, and 
uh, ID Slim, congratulations. Uh, and I ask him, you know, for a ride. Of course, he lets me uh, ride. And what do I do with it? I don't just ride around on it. Of course not. I start doing evil Knievel. I start doing pop wheelies on that thing. And he started doing it. And his mother saw. Well, he got in trouble and punished. And uh, we were asked to uh, relocate elsewhere with the other folk that, you know, had uh, come in from out of the world, you know. Um, but I remember that. And my mom remembers it very well also. And uh, I know she's writing something, her memoirs. That's why it's fresh in my mind because we were talking about that very thing. Um, that was like the uh, last straw. Uh, the first one, and just just remember, I'm five years old, right? They had a little baby. And I went over to the little baby. And of course, you know, I'm particularly a little baby making her laugh. That was not to be done according to the way they want you can laugh, but it was to be natural, not induced. Now, not making fun of them or anything. That just was there. That's what they, you know, how they wanted to raise their kids. So when I came along doing that, it's a discordant note, you know? And so that was the first one. And then this evil Knievel thing. So first I'm tickling the daughter, making them laugh, making her laugh. Now I'm teaching their son to use his his bike in a way that it was not really intended to be used. They were like, that's enough. That's enough. We um, There's some people down there that are a little bit more liberal. And we had so much fun once we left those people. So it wasn't like everybody in that place. It was this particular family. Once we moved, we had a beautiful time. Wonderful time. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.